The Adept Buzzard is here and I've been farming hard for virtually every single god roll possible. I'm going to go say this straight up at the start of the video. This is the new king of sidearms. It's the most lethal archetype of sidearm, the adaptive frame, which has a blistering 0.6 second TTK at base, similar to the Drang, the old king of sidearms. And it's an absolute stat monster, beating the Drang in nearly every single category possible, including range. It's in the kinetic slot, meaning you can use meta energy options like the Beloved, like Cloud Strike, which wasn't possible with Drang. And there's even two rolls, yes, not not just one that lets you achieve a mind-boggling 0.4 second TTK. And it's not a meme roll, it's actually very easily doable in the Crucible. And if all that hasn't convinced you to go farm a god roll, then let me remind you that with the start of season 21, all aggressive frame SMGs, including the Immortal, are getting a nerf in their optimal TTK from 0.67 seconds to 0.77 seconds. And trust me, this is going to be enough to truly differentiate sidearms as the more lethal option, albeit if you you can close the gap a little more. So today I'll be covering all the viable roles, my personal god role, and for you panicky folk out there, the roles I'd recommend if Rangefinder truly does get annihilated in season 21 or 22. Remember, if you find any of what I talk about today useful, then hit the like button as that helps the video out a ton. And if you haven't noticed already, apologies for the state of my voice, I've been absolutely destroyed by COVID for a fifth time now but we move forward. So the Buzzard is an adaptive frame sidearm that requires four headshots out of four at base to achieve its optimal TTK of 0.6 seconds across all resilience levels. So you need to be accurate as hell to make this thing work. And in the current meta, if you just miss one shot, an immortal will eat you up. But luckily the stats favor you getting four headshots out of four. The Buzzard at base has more range, seven more stability than the Drang, but most importantly, it has more aim assist than the Drang. And this isn't a small difference, it's a whopping 19 more aim assist than the Drang, meaning with two targeting mods you can achieve 100 aim assist with a gun and by god it's noticeable. I'm hitting 4 out of 4 headshots with this sidearm more often than not than I ever have with Drang. It does have less handling but the perks I'll discuss later can make up for this. And another important thing to mention is that it has a much better recoil direction of 94 which is near vertical so the gun doesn't feel like it bounces as much as the Drang when shooting and it does doesn't have that annoying muzzle flash that Drang does, so overall I found it easier to use. Now Drang does have more zoom at base than the Buzzard, but the Buzzard has access to Rangefinder, which gives a 10% bonus to zoom, so in actuality with that roll, you actually have 13.2 zoom with the Buzzard. The perk pool for the gun is actually quite interesting, there's a variety of very viable options here. For the barrel, you want to try and maximize range, so hammer forge rifling, small bore, and even extended barrel are all going to be viable. I personally avoided full bore, especially on controller, as you don't want to sacrifice the stability, but if you're on M and K, then you can go for full bore here. In the magazine, you definitely want ricochet rounds. The five range bonus in combination with 10 stability is a massive bonus to the stats that you want. Now for the perks, we're going to start with the second column, which is the business end of the gun. The obvious choice here is rangefinder, which in itself gives a whopping one and a half meters bonus to the range of the sidearm, and for consistency there's nothing better. But I did want to discuss two other very good perks here. The first one is multi-kill clip, whereby reloading the gun increases the damage based on the number of rapid kills before the reload. Now with just two stacks of this, i.e. killing two people quickly before you reload, you can get a 33.3% damage increase, which takes the headshot value from 51 to 68, meaning you can now 3-tap people at a blistering 0.4 second TTK across all resilience values. But in reality, this is actually quite hard to do. Most of the time you're going to kill one person and then reload. That gives a 16.6% damage boost, meaning the gun becomes way more forgiving. You can get a 0.6 second TTK then with two headshots and two bodies, which lets you go on some streaks reliably. Honestly, just one stack of multi-kill clip is nothing to scoff at. The second perk is Swashbuckler, where each kill with the weapon increases damage up to five times of stacks. Or if you get a melee kill, it gives you five stacks of damage straight away. Now at five stacks, you get a 33.5% damage damage increase, taking the headshot value again to 68, and again you can get a perfect 3-tap with 0.4 second TTK. And if you're running any melee base build, think Claws of Armcara, Arc Warlock, Athe's Embrace Hunter, or Peregrine Greaves Titan, 
Heck, even any knockout op titan would benefit from this. Then honestly, having five stacks of swashbuckler up is actually super easy to achieve. And the best part is that you can keep five stacks of swashbuckler going with each subsequent kill. Unlike multi-kill clip, which resets and requires that double or triple kill before reload to keep the higher damage bonus going. For the first column, there are three main perks to discuss. The most obvious choice here is perpetual motion, which gives bonuses to stability and handling for just moving. And with two stacks of this you can get 20 stability and 20 handling and if you remember earlier in the video the gun has a lower handling value than its counterparts so this perk completely negates that in my eyes pulse monitor is also a great option here especially for those of you more skilled as it's going to refill the magazine and give you a massive 50 handling bonus when you drop below 110 hp meaning you can 1v2 without reloading with more ease don't sleep on this perk. And finally, my favorite perk in this column was actually Encore, which provides a stacking bonus to stability, range, and accuracy up to four stacks. Each stack provides five range, eight stability, and a 1.25% bonus to the accuracy cone. The important thing to remember is that a precision kill gives you two stacks of Encore. So you can snowball this pretty quick and keep four stacks of Encore up. With four stacks, you're going to be at 100 stability in most cases, near maximum range, but the most important thing is the massive accuracy bonuses you get with four stacks, which makes you feel like you can't miss headshots, allowing you to get that perfect four headshot 0.6 second TTK with ease. And then to top it off, you're going to want to slap on an adept range mod for that sweet 10 range bonus. So there's actually going to be four roles I'm going to recommend, excluding the adept mod and the barrels here. The first role is the most consistent role, rangefinder perpetual motion, big bonuses to range, big bonuses to stability and handling without requiring a kill. So it's going to feel the most consistent in 3v3 game modes. My personal favorite is rangefinder encore and after just one kill, it quickly snowballs into becoming an utter stat monster in every department letting you full tap with ease. For any melee base build shenanigans, you'll want to use Swashbuckler with perpetual motion. Swashbuckler is too hard to pass up on and is super satisfying if you're looking for an easy way to get that 0.4 second TTK. And then because we've got one perk that requires a kill, I'd recommend P motion so you can get a perk which gives you stat bonuses without requiring a kill. And my final role to recommend is multi kill clip perpetual motion. The one stack damage bonus for this is nothing to scoff at. Being able Able to kill people with just two headshots and two body shots for the optimal 0.6 second TTK makes it very easy to go on streaks with. Rolls number three and four also cover your bases in case rangefinder does get absolutely annihilated in any future nerf. But in all honesty, from my opinion, I feel like rangefinder will still provide some sort of viable stat bonus to range once it gets nerfed, so it will still be a good option. So there you have it, my complete guide to the buzzard adept. If you're watching it the week this video came out go farm the nightfall it's double drops and you won't find a better week for it if you've enjoyed what i talked about today smash that like button and remember to subscribe to the channel for more upcoming destiny videos both pvp and pve i'm mr on it and that's it for today peace out guys